Hi everybody, sorry I've been off for a while, but I'm back now. Um, I'm still having some issues with my phone, so this is just going to be a, a simple, clear, direct message. Just, you know, what do your spirit guides want to tell you right now in this moment? Um, on the first, I'm going to try to get that, that fixed finally. So on the first, I'm going to try to post one of my usual in-depth channeled messages where I'll actually get into tarot and, and give you, uh, you know, more details. But this is just a clear direct just what do you need to know in this moment as always i'm available for private readings just email me my email is below in the description box beauty selling out soulmate rejection dreams and we have courage So I am getting third party energy here because like, do you see how this woman, I'm getting like almost like succubus, like psychic vampire energy here. And this could be male or female. You know, remember there's multiple people that are in this specific energy group. So, you know, take it as it resonates. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. But do you see like, even if it's like female, it's like she's leaning towards this energy, towards pursuing her dreams. And we have this man here in this picture and there's these spider webs and this picture looks like it's old, like it's ancient history. She's moving away from that. She's moving away from her past. These spider webs, like she's trying to free herself up from that. And there's, I don't know why I'm so drawn to this vial too. This Maybe the color green is significant for someone that she's, you guys are both like meeting in the middle here. Do you see that? Do you see what I'm kind of channeling from the pictures? It's like this woman is moving away from this past energy and just, you know, him too. He's He's having the courage to pursue his dreams. Like he's not interested in this past person. So if you're in a third party situation, like if your person, you know, if this is your person and they've been, you know, holding on to someone from in the past for some, I want to say if it's like, a, if, if it's a female, then I feel like the past, this is just someone that they, it's like not currently in their life. If it's a male, I feel like it could be like a friend or just someone in their energy field. Take it as it resonates. But do you see how he's looking here? He is looking like towards his dreams. Like he's looking, he's not interested in her. This this energy, male or female. This could be female, this could be male, this could be a gay or lesbian relationship. Just as I said, take it as it resonates. There's no gender here. But it's like she's reaching out to him with her claws, and he's just he doesn't care. He's not even noticing her. He's not He's maybe he's even wearing a blindfold because he just doesn't want to deal with her anymore. You know, it might be someone that's in his life that he just feels sorry for. But it's like he's got this lantern. He's following his his heart, his intuition. He's, you know, look at her in comparison to her. This is like a succubus psychic vampire type. This is like, look at her wings, like, like an angelic energy, fairy energy. She's, you know, Leo energy. I mean, tigers, lions, you know, I kind of take that all as like Leo energy here. It's like he's, that's what he's focused on. And that's what she's, you know, both of you are focused on meeting here in the middle, um, you know, following this dream, making this a reality. Um, I do want to say, because I'm getting a lot of like, I'm getting like a lot of like third party succubus toxic energy. Because look at this. We have, we have the snake here. We have this woman selling out to who looks like, look at her. She looks like a vampire type. We have, and this could be male or female, like I said, we have this soulmate that I'm like kind of like feeling, you know, I always channel the cards differently depending on like what I'm, like depending on the context, the, the spread, just what I'm feeling from it. So this can always mean something different, but in this context, it's almost like, it's almost like this person's been in your energy field and it's like, they're like a ghost. It's like someone from your past, it's like you haven't, it's like she's not even like, he or she is like not even aware of this energy that's in their energy field still. They're not even aware that this this spirit, this energy is is holding on to them, kind of holding them back. Um, I also want to say that whoever this is, so this third party, whether this is someone from your past, and like I okay, so as I said, also this could be your person, like this could be your person that's been dealing with this third party that's been holding them back and making them feel too insecure to step out of their comfort zone and pursue you maybe like they have a lot of self-doubt and now they're getting through that they're 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 finally standing up for themselves they're like you know what no this this doubt this isn't this is just in my head this I'm not going to listen to this doubt I'm going to follow this lantern I'm going to focus on this energy here on this new start 
with someone. This feels like a newer energy, relatively new. Um, so take it as it resonates, whether this is you or this is your, your person. One of you has some kind of third party attachment, some kind of third party in your energy field that needs to be cleared up because this person's toxic. You might not even be aware of this person because like, look at this. It's like she's male or female. It's like she's kind of not. It's like this person's a ghost. Like, you know, same right here. It's like there's just like this old picture. It's like there's these spider webs. She's not even aware of the spider webs. You know, he's not even he's I don't even know if he's aware of her. You know what I mean? She has like these almost like demonic kind of claws reaching for him and, and he's you know, but it's a good thing. It's like, he's not focused on this energy anymore. He, he or she is not letting this energy hold them back anymore. With the selling out card too, I want to say whether this is you or your person, they may be, I'm getting like succubus, siren, incubus kind of energy here. With the selling out card, I feel like this person made you feel like you needed to be someone that you're not to be accepted. Like, that's another message that I'm getting from this card is, like, they made you kind of feel like, like you, like, they gaslit you. Like, they kind of, it's kind of like a, no one's going to love you the way I love you. Like, no one would accept you. You know, I'm the only one that's going to stay by your side kind of energy. It's like, they made you sell out. They didn't like your light, your power, your strength, your energy, they kind of wanted to tie you down. They wanted you to sell out so that they would have control over you. They wanted you. They wanted to block you from being your true self. Um, most of them had selfish motives, but I mean, they also, you know, some of them just they wanted to keep you. They wanted to keep you tied down. They um, they didn't want you to realize your power, your worth, your light, your energy. They, they wanted you to be miserable. Some, for, for a lot of you, this person was miserable and they wanted you to be miserable with them. They wanted you to be stagnant with them. They didn't want you to go down a new path. So they tried to keep you in a dark, in the dark. They, it's like this energy of like illusion. Like they just wanted to keep you in the dark. They wanted to they, like, look how like torn and shattered she, he or she is. Like this energy is just like all torn up. Like they're not, they're, they're damaged, they're bruised, they're broken. It's like they're, they're not fully themselves. It's like this energy wanted you to, to just sell yourself short so that they had control over you. It was all about ego, all about control and power for this person. And you might not even be aware, be aware that you have these like thought patterns that, that stem from this connection that you had with this person that need to be cleared up because I keep being drawn to like, see how like she doesn't notice this man here. You know what I mean? Like she doesn't, she doesn't notice these spider webs. He's not noticing this succubus in his energy field. Now, whether this is a past person or a current person that you're like friends with or a family member, it's like basically like just kind of time to take off the blindfold. And if this is a past person, it's time to, you know, look at those belief patterns, look at those thoughts that stem from this person, this person that was insecure and and projected those insecurities onto you and tried to gaslight you and abuse you and keep you from going you know, down another path away from them towards your actual dreams, towards your actual, like, you know, true love, soulmate, twin flame here, towards, you know, career dreams, uh, dreams, when it, just, just dreams in all areas, you know, could be career, love, friendships. They just, in general, this person did not want you, you know, going down this path that would make you happy and that would fulfill you. They wanted you to be insecure. They wanted you to feel like, you'd be rejected if you, you know, showed your true self. And it's not true. You know, the right people are going to love you for who you are. They're going to love your anger, your darkness, your flaws, your strengths, your weaknesses. They're going to love you just as you are as a whole unconditionally. You know what I mean? So it's kind of time to, to clear out these negative thought patterns. You know, it's, it's an illusion um, to recognize this energy, whatever, whoever this person is, whether it's a past person or present person that's been holding you back. And, um, you know, clear this energy out and realize that you don't need to sell yourself short. You don't need to be someone that you're not. You don't need to 